Hey guys, today we are going to look at some MetaZoo products that have recently sold. Uh, here we have the 6.9. This is a sealed kid. So a year, two years uh, later, the $700 sealed kit plus the monthly fee of anywhere between $15 to $100 if you wanted to buy multiple of these has recently only sold for $255. Now, this recent sale, April 27th, was is pretty interesting. It is a PSA 10. A, a PSA 10, that's the best grade you can get on this, for 17.17. 17. It's not even worth the cost of grading. So let me repeat this. Even if you add the shipping, typically speaking, I always look at, at it from the seller perspective, what these the seller get back. Um, it's not that much. So these alpha investment promos are hitting all-time lows and they continue to go down almost every single day as he has not mentioned MetaZoo, even though there's plenty of really crazy stuff happening in the zoo. And the, the zoo is uh, crazy right now. People are dumping stuff in dumpsters. People, not people, <laughs> the actual MetaZoo creators or whoever is managing MetaZoo right now. You got WhatNot streamers talking about the game is back and they Mike Waddell found a new buyer. Uh, how much would I trust Mike Waddell? Probably not a ton, but news is news. And he has not updated. He has not actually updated any of this really crazy news in MetaZoo. Um, it's definitely something that I would think that he would make a video on because he would get the views. He would get the eyeballs, right? He would get all the interaction that he would ever want. So uh, in terms of why he doesn't make MetaZoo videos, even though his play match, his in terms of MetaZoo, he, he still has incredible volume across his own promo cards. In fact, I would say that in terms of the money being spent, maybe 20, 30% of all money being spent on MetaZoo at any given time is based on a, picture, a card or a play mat with his picture on it. So, you know, what happened here? Where is the zoo, baby? So, yeah, I, I'm a little shocked, a little surprised, uh, not entirely, you know, I mean, it's one of these weird things where I look at it and I say, why is he doing this? Why is he acting this way? Who knows, right? But I think uh, if he went back to the zoo, he would get the views and he would definitely be able to sell a lot of this stuff. Um, like a ton of it, right? So anyway, these play mats and these other stuff, I mean, they're selling. They're not selling for nearly the 820 or $820 a box that he was trying to do, right? Um, it is wild in my opinion, the current prices of these Rudy promos. And I actually, I got this comment, I actually got into it with a subscriber the other day on Facebook. And we were talking about like, if MetaZoo is the next Pokemon, like why, like is Pokemon attractive? Like Ask Ketchum is like a young kid, right? Misty, Brock, even Team Rocket, they're like teenagers. When is the last time Pokemon had a 40-year-old male as their main character? Like, maybe Giovanni, but, like, Giovanni is a side character. How many cards does Giovanni have, right? Like, or how much TV time does Giovanni get? And then, let me let me go on to uh, TCG. But let me read you these names or cards that these kids, like, young kids, like, young kids are supposed to be playing with right now. Um, like... Let me read Rudy Investment Squat Sasquatch. So again, let's imagine that you're back when we were Pokemon. So we're like in elementary school. Hey man, let's play our Rudy Investment Sasquatch. Rudy the Cave Painting. Rudy, really big feet. Rudy, the Hunchback of Jacksonville. Uh, are there any more Rudy's? Rudy's Nice Metal, which is now being listed for less than uh, $8, or $8 on TCG Player right now. 
In fact, you know, TCG player makes it very difficult to find all the Rudies. You have to click on the Meta Zoo. Rudy Claws, which is no longer a thousand dollar card. Rudy, totally not a Timmy. Rudy, one big hairy step. Like, is this kid friendly? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys have kids and you guys want to show them, like, or just read them the names of these cards and ask them, hey, dude, do you think, um, and do you think this is a game that you would like to play? Would you like to play with this 40 year old middle age crisis mode man? Oh, how about what if uh, we buy you these playmats of him? Rudy Investment Sasquatch, right? And let's read, let's read the, um, let's read the, uh, comments. Let's read the comments. Timmy's pranced out to Taco Town in droves when the new Mojik the Gordoling release comes out. They can't wait to get their hands on the attendees. This is not me making this up. This is an actual flavor text on a Rudy Totally Not Timmy card. Are you an idiot to buy these cards? You, you might be. Let's read this one. Only one thing can bring a basement dweller out of our cardboard mansion. The smell of tacos on a Tuesday. Another Rudy. Uh, I mean, did he make his own flavor text? Rudy, really big feet. Oh. You know what they say about Scott Sasquatches with big feet? Big shoes. They say they have big shoes. What are you thinking? Totally appropriate for younger female audiences. Totally a game that uh, parents would love their children to play as soon as they read the flavor text. Nah. I mean, I, I remember that one video from that YouTuber, and he was like, hey, he had like two daughters and a son. He was like, hey, guys, we're, we're going to open the Pokemon packs. And he throws MetaZoo cards on, and you could see the utter disappointment. It's like a YouTube short. And you can see the utter disappointment on their faces when they realize it's not Pokemon. And they're like, what is this, Dad? I hate this. You know, and it's like, you know, I mean, your, your most valuable cards are of a dude who's 40 years old, not of the best shape, right? Selling cards as a living. Like, goddamn, man, this is worse than Elon Musk. You know, he's Elon Musk out in spaceship and stuff, right? So you buy his, like, tequila and stuff. Anyway, my point is, uh, this shit is going to hell, man. This shit is going to hell in a handbag, man. <laughs> you use. Jesus, man. I mean, the, the value of these cards are just not... I mean, if you compare this to two years ago... Um, hey, shout out to our good friend Argos Anonymous because we got another video coming up on him. His positive negativity. Where he just... You know, anyone who's negative about the game is a hater and so on, right? Where the hell are you, buddy? Where were you? I would love to debate you about what you were doing when Mike Waddell, you know, he was opening a candy shop and selling his grails and he made multiple, I made at least one video saying, oh, guys, don't worry about it. It's not because I don't love MetaZoo. It's because I have just extra grails. I need to open a candy shop. Candy shop be open now? You surely sold enough MetaZoo to open that damn candy shop, right? Hit me up.